What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So on to uh, today's episode, we're going to be doing the uh, valve cover gasket on the Eagle because, oh man, she leaks something fierce. Just, you can see all the oil down there, but uh, it also pools up kind of under this thing. So yeah, we're going to be doing that. And also, I think one of these valve, or one of these gets, yeah, right there. See that? See that oil? Tells me that that seal is starting to go. Hasn't got on the spark plug yet, but caught it just in time. So we're going to be doing the uh, valve cover. But it uh, should be pretty straightforward and easy. Oh, also, this is getting all nasty looking. I could probably clean this off, but... This manifold is just getting cracked to shit. So you got a crack there. And then there's another crack that runs over this way. <sighs> yeah, I tried to fix it right there as good as I could. But then this fucking thing gets in the way and my shitty welder can't get in there. But I'm sure there's cracks all over in here too. Because it's just like blowing back at this thing. So eventually I'll just have to get a different manifold. Definitely, because this thing just starts wobbling around when this crack gets really bad. That's why I had to fix that a bit. So, alright, but pretty simple tools for it. Should just be straightforward. Take the valve cover off, clean it up, put valve cover back on. Oh, also, I got some new spark plugs for it as well. We're going to change the heat range on it and go uh, one step colder, because... She, puts, she pushes a little bit of boost, you know? A little, little bit of boost comes out of there. So, we'll get back to it when uh, the valve cover's taken off. Okay, got the valve cover off. Turned out uh, this plug was also leaking as well around it. So it was nasty. I'm trying to see what kind of cams these are because I were, was told that they're built cams but I can't see anything on them that would uh that I would know really you'd think that it would say something right but I do see down here where this head bolt is you can see that yeah, hold on so it's got ARP head bolts in it at least at the very minimum you know so that's good I would think that these are upgraded springs and spring caps because those things look like they're billet I don't know I'm not a DSM dude I don't know I don't know these things but I mean everything looks okay doesn't look too bad everything looks pretty clean inside the motor except for like right here then it gets gross but uh also someone screwed up the valve cover bolts because these ones are normal 10 millimeter bolts and then i get over here to these and they're just huge wallered out retapped things so might also be why there's so much oil just leaking everywhere down this side so <laughs> But I also see like spots where there was silicone that was really bad, badly, badly done. So I'll uh, get to doing that and hopefully get this put back on and let her sit for a while and then re retorque it down. It should be good to go, but just showing you what the inside of it looked like. See it back when the valve cover's on there. Okay, valve cover's back on there. Everything's good. No leaks anywhere. Also, I had to go and get an O-ring because the real culprit for the whole leaking thing, why it was oil everywhere, was the O-ring for uh, the uh, crankshaft position sensor. I know it's on the camshaft, but they call it a crankshaft position sensor. Uh, it was the O-ring and it was super brittle and like hard as a rock. It basically just broke off when I popped that thing out and put a new one in. But now I don't have oil building up right there where it used to and puddling down all over the trans. So that's cool. Um, now, the next thing is 
uh, looks like I gotta change my starter because now it just won't fucking start and uh, the starter's just not doing anything. Uh, I checked the uh, power getting to the solenoid and test light shows that every time you turn the key, power's getting to the starter. Check the starter's wiring to the battery. Obviously, it's huge and I mean, it's it can't really get fucked up, so that was fine. So uh, we're down to just the starter. So I'm going to pull the starter out as well in this video and we'll go get a new one. I did have the car up on ramps and everything because I thought that you'd be able to get to the starter because it's uh, like it's it's down there. It's like right here underneath the intake manifold. So I think what I'm looking like I'm going to have to do is take out the battery and possibly just move the mass airflow sensor out of here and maybe even take off this charge pipe to be able to get to the starter because it is way down in there behind that thing that you can see right there it's behind that behind that tube right there but uh so i'm going to be getting to uh doing that we'll get it pulled out and hopefully someone in town has one in stock at least so probably have to take the z oh, actually i'll take the 370 today i haven't driven that thing in a little while but uh yeah so get back to you when the uh starter's pulled out. all right starter is out turned out didn't have to take off the math or the charge pipe just the battery and i was able to slip it out through all of these uh tubes cables and fuel lines but uh yeah there it is shitty starter so i'm gonna go run to town go get a new one and uh we'll be back at it and we're back with the uh new remanufactured starter so gonna get this slap it back down in there and then we should be done with this little thing god damn turn into a two-day adventure the sun's going down and it's getting cold so let's get this finished up and call it a day all right new starters in the car she fired right up but let's Go ahead and make sure that she works again. Perfect. All right. Well, I think that's gonna conclude uh, today's video. It was kind of a long drawn out video, but that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, give us a big old like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time.